Hi friends. Say hey when you're hopping on. I am gonna get ready for a fun dinner show in Mexico. So I'm here on a pink lily trip with my best friend Jessica. We have been friends for almost 25 years, which makes you feel ancient. And um, she's actually on the porch talking to one of her friends and her kids and everything. So um, I am gonna get started. I'm getting started with, I've got to tweeze. Like it is a serious issue. I was out at the pool today and all I could do was like feel my face. Do you, anybody struggle with hairs? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, this really quickly. Oh my gosh, it's like, I've had people message and be like, why don't you do that before you go live? Um, and to be honest, I'm just getting ready with you, but I feel like as someone who's struggled with facial hair my entire adult life, I want to, like, if that's part of your routine of getting ready, I don't think we see that enough from people that like every time I get ready, I have to pluck a hair or two or 10. And I used to not show it on my videos more because I was like kind of embarrassed or I was like, ugh, nobody wants to see this, right? And then I was like, but I felt insecure about it. And so I, <laughs> do you think it's weird? It's weird, it is weird. I do have to do it. But I wanna normalize for anybody who feels like, I feel like I'm the only one having to shave my face. Um, you're not, there's like the, we're all having to, but it will drive you crazy. If you know, you know, it will drive you crazy. If you have like a pokey, like a pokey hair, I still have one. We're just gonna, we're gonna go over it with the buzzer. I'm having such a good time. I started my cycle a week early on the plane. Okay. Like, of course I did. Right. And I, so I have felt really like bloated. I posted some pictures and had some of you guys are like, are you pregnant? I'm like, no, I'm just so bloated. Um, and so that, and everyone here is just really so, so cute. And so I feel like I've had the best time. I've kind of gotten in my head a little bit. I just feel like, I don't know. Everyone's so nice. I've, I've had a really, really great time. It's me. I personally am just like, we all do with like our own insecurities, right? And so sometimes I feel like when I'm surrounded by a lot of other people and they're just like confident and really so sweet and everything and I just end up getting like so nervous. Other than that, and that happens every time I travel with groups of people, so it has nothing to do with the ones here. Um, so anywho, okay, we're going in. I need skincare. My skin is drained out because I have been in the sun um, so I'm going to show you what my skincare routine looks like. So I'm using Palmafera's um, Plump. This has hyaluronic acid in it. It's going to help tighten your skin, but hydrate, shrink your pores. Um, it's just wonderful. I have been putting on so much sunscreen because I do not want to get burnt down here. I am very fair skinned. Okay. So this is going to tighten me up, make it look like I've slept a lot. Um... Then I'm going to go in with Brighton. If you've never tried Pomifera skincare, I could not recommend it more. Um, this helps improve elasticity of your skin. It's going to help brighten your skin. It's going to give it a more youthful glow and tone. This is called the Brighton. So I personally use the Danger Danger Game Changer collection, uh, but you could use just, they call it a power three and you get three serums. You could use um, whatever it is for your skin's needs. I personally like the Danger Danger Game Changer collection because it has everything you need for like a whole skincare line. Yes, you have hairs too because of PCOS. I have PCOS. Anybody else have PCOS? Um, have I always had flawless skin or do uh, you feel like it's because of this? So. I've not always had flawless skin. No, I had several sunspots here and here. I had, I don't remember where on this side, but um, had a lot of cystic acne all, I don't know, for until I had Lola. So they were, I had kids for five years. And so all of that, um, no, but my skin, I've been using Pomifera now for three years and my skin has never looked better. Okay, if you don't try any products from Palmafera and you just wanna try one, I 
have like a tie between two. Depends on what you need. My two things I would recommend if you've never tried anything else is the Erase Pre-Cleanser, which I used this morning. Where are you, little buddy? Um, here you go. You spray this on and it melts your makeup off. Or I would recommend you try this. I'm about to put it on. You guys are gonna be shook. Um, okay, tell me what you think about this outfit before I do that. Here's the outfit just like this. I put it on, I put on, I tried putting on a different outfit and I couldn't get it zipped. Very defeating feeling, right? So I put this on, I just don't feel good with my arms showing, just I'm not having like, and I think it's also important as somebody who, I have a platform where I talk about body positivity all the time, but it is so normal that we have days where you're just like not feeling yourself. That is natural. Like it happens to the best of us. Today is one of those days for me. Like I'm just not like feeling confident. Um, so I have this that I originally got as a swimsuit cover up, but I'm like, is it too much crochet? Is it like, you're definitely your grandmother's favorite granddaughter and she only knits for you your whole life? Or do you think the two could go together? Tell me. Um, so, sometimes you just have those days, right? So we went out to the beach and we were taking pictures. Um, my friend Rachel and my friend Kaylee. I actually went on the last trip I went on, Kaylee was there as well. So we were going out there today to take pictures. <laughs> we get on this big swing and we flipped off and I hit my head so hard. And so my he I had the worst headache. I fell straight backwards off a swing onto my head. We have it on video. It was complete accident and embarrassing. And, um, but her husband, as soon as we started falling, came like ran to check on us. And so we don't have the like very impact, but you have almost all of it. Um, so that happened. Okay, so I want you to see, I've only rubbed it in on my head, okay? This is, this is the one product. If you're only gonna buy one, buy, buy this. You're, <laughs> if you want like an instant gratification, oh my gosh, look at that glowy skin. This is called Revive. It's a regenerating serum. It has lipids, it has palmifera oil, but it doesn't leave you oily. It just leaves you with like the most beautiful glow. I want you to look at that. Can you tell the difference between, like not that the texture of my face is necessarily bad down here, but after you put this on, I don't even have good lighting. I do have the cutest. You're in a sink in the bathroom on a tripod, by the way. Um, let me see if I can show you this bathtub. Look at that. Haven't used it yet, but that's very cute. Okay. All right, so here we go. So a good your makeup is gonna go so much better if your skin is just hydrated. If you're exfoliating, the power of exfoliating so that you get all the dead skin cells off and you have new skin cells generating, um, you should be exfoliating at least one if not two times a week. I try to exfoliate before I'm gonna self tan. Um, and so they have a really great exfoliator as well. So many good things. If you've ever tried Pomifera and you love it, drop below what your favorite products are or what it's done for your skin. I don't want people to think like that I'm lying. It is so good. I have repeat customers who have been ordering for years. It is my most repeated ordered product of anything I've ever done. It is the best skincare. I have used expensive skincares. I have used, this is incredibly affordable. Um, like that erase pre-cleanser is under $20. Um, okay. Here we go, we're getting started. I'm using something a little different today. I'm doing more of a glowy makeup for tonight and I am gonna go ahead and take my hair down because I don't wanna have a big crease. I might look silly for a little bit. Okay. All right, um, so we're going in with dibs. Have you ever tried dibs? I don't work with them, but I linked them. Um, maybe dibs will want to take me on one day. They're just, I personally buy this and I just like it. Um, I, well, I pretty much just show what I just like. And so, but this is when I've tried to work with them, but anyways, 
if, but I'm gonna show you on a trip I go a little above my cheek a little here I used this all over my legs with a big brush um, the other day it's just a really good glowy I'm still gonna use bronzers I'm just trying to like get some glow and this will do it it also smells like a cabbage patch baby it smells so good. I have it in this color, which is the unbothered, unbothered bronze. And then I also have it in um, whatever the lightest gold is. Just taking a gigantic beauty blender. Have you guys tried one of these? Um, I am gonna put it under water. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna squeeze out all the excess. And then I take a washcloth or towel, whatever, and I'm going to just get any excess water out of this. Okay, now I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to, and I linked all of this in the description of the video. The damp beauty blender. And this is my, like, <laughs> when you're on vacation, you know when you don't wanna look really done up, but you do want to look cute. So I'm putting all this bronzer, and I do go heavy on the bronzer, I know. I put the link in the description, or if you drop the word me, I can send you the links um, for everything we're gonna talk about today. I've got them together for you. Um, if I show something that I forgot to get link for, then you can always message me. But um, we're gonna give away an Amazon gift card for this live. So if you're watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. Um, I FaceTimed with Veda and Adam just a little bit ago and they're going out on a date tonight, which I thought was the absolute sweetest thing ever. And he had her all ready and she was in like a um, cute little, dress and they were going to a date to our favorite restaurant and I was like oh, you're just the best dad okay don't forget your neck okay so then I'm gonna take my foundation and I'm just using like kind of a squirt I hate the word just kind of a drop a little I'm going in with the shade of coriander and I'm going to do my eyelids. I'm going to do my lip. Just kind of blend everything out. I could use even a little less, but so it's not really all over foundation. You want to try Palm Fear? It really is so good. Um, okay. I'm going to go in with a little more of this. Just right here. Just sometimes when you blend. It's your first time ever seeing one? Well, hello, friends. Okay. If you like my videos, if you tag a friend and just say, hey, if Think you would like this or just tag your friend um and tell them hey i think you would like this girl's videos that would be awesome and if you don't like my videos um i'm so sorry okay here we go we're going in this is my benefit it's brow wax it is the fluff up brow wax so i feel like the trend for a long time was big lashes and then I kind of feel like it transitioned to fluffier brows. And so just, so I like to fluff them up, but I don't like them to be like a werewolf. So I fluff them up like this and I let it set for just a minute. And um, I do this. I'm just gonna smooth them down. Okay, 
Okay. So they're like fluffy, but not too fluffy. <laughs> um, I have this listed in my Amazon store print. I didn't put it on the link, but I'll, I'll add it. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the Ophir pressed powder. It is currently sold out, but when it restocks, <laughs> who's waiting on this right now? Okay. I'm just going to dab this out. I am almost out. So I'm like, I need you to restock. All right. So yesterday we went out and I'll give you a recap of what we've been doing so far. We went to an island yesterday and we went snorkeling and then went to a lunch place and had some really good Mexican food. And then we went to just out into the water and like swam. And then, um, today was a free day. I felt really guilty. I actually cried yesterday. I'm probably because it's my cycle, but I was just, I talked to Veda and this was the first time she's ever done this, but I talked to her and she was like, I miss you. And then I love you. And then she started crying and I just felt, um, just so sad. And I don't know. I feel like I love the opportunity to get to come on this. Um, and to get to work with this brand and I love that so much of what I do but I also am a mom and I just felt so sad yesterday and like kind of homesick and just like I don't know you want your kids to know you love them and you want your kids to know like I miss them when I'm not with them and I just was like um I literally was like I'm never going on another trip again um which isn't true I'll go on a trip and I'll be back really soon. It's a short one, but um, we're in Cancun. And it's been really, really nice. Yes, that's where we were, Rain. I love Mujeres. It was really pretty. It's, I think it's just natural. Like as a mom, we feel pulled in so many different directions. You know, you're pulled to like chase your career. You're pulled for provide for your family. You're pulled for spend time with your kids and do all these things and do all the crafts and make their life magical and make the memories and provide financially. And like, there's all of these like pressures to, you know, like do all the things. And sometimes it's just, you feel like it catches up to you a little bit where you're like, I just feel like I'm trying to do this. Like I'm trying to provide, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to all these things. And then I also want my kids to feel like very loved and anyways, but today was actually a free day. We're going out with a couple other people. And then that was also another reason I felt guilty was because this trip wasn't exclusively work. They gave us two free days while we're down here. So we're working. i actually, I filmed reels for content a good part of my day, but it was, we did have a free day. And so then I felt guilty that I'm on a trip where there is a lot of fun happening and then my kids miss me. And so I don't know, it's just hard. Um, what do I like better, Hawaii or Mexico? Okay, so I love Hawaii. It's just so far away. If Hawaii was like as close as Mexico, I'd go to Hawaii all the time. But for us, Hawaii took us like, we left at five o'clock at night, five o'clock in the afternoon, and we got to our house at two o'clock the next day in the afternoon. So it took forever. Um, and the time zone is five hours behind for us. And so Mexico was like four hours to get here. So I absolutely love the convenience of Mexico. Uh, I'd love to bring my kids here. I think it would be really fun. Okay, we're going in with this palette. Can you feel the vibes? This is the Orange Caves palette from Ophir. I'm just using my finger to put this on. Yeah, the struggle as a working mom is real. It really is. Um, it really is. And I just share that just in case anyone else feels that, you know, like if you feel it and that not to, f not to feel alone and that it's normal to like, it's normal to feel that way. It's normal to feel, I also feel proud of myself for being here. Like this was a trip for the top 10 people in the company. Um, and a trip to have access to sell collections before other people got access to it. It was a trip to, for networking. It was a trip to hang out with friends and I feel proud of myself 
but in the same sense, so I think it's just normal to be like, you can love your body, but have a day you don't love your body, right? And it is normal that you can love, like I love doing my job, but also to be like, oh, I'd really like to be a date night with Adam and Vader right now, you know? Like, you, and those two can coexist together. Um, and sometimes it's good that we even recognize I feel this way because I care, you know? Um, so for anybody else who you just feel like, whew, it is hard <laughs> um, to be good at all of it. It is hard to be, and it, you just, when you give something, then sometimes you feel like other things are, are failing, even though they're not failing. I mean, everyone is totally safe. Everyone's totally happy. Um, it is just a me thing. I'm going in with this orangey color and I'm about to do something whoa and I'm going to shake it up a bit get ready I wore my makeup like this last night and I was like why did I not film that I'm going in with this blue color it's called it's an eyeliner it's called cloudless and I'm gonna go in with this bright orange right here in the outer corner right here Okay, so now we're popping, and then I'm gonna go in with this cloudless. I'm gonna go right in my inner corner, and this is like a soft, pale blue, and I'm gonna smudge just to kind of blend it out, and then I'm gonna go right under here with it. And you kind of feel like an alien for a second. I'm doing a little blending. I got so many compliments on this look. And I really was like, why did I not film that? That's so cute. That is one thing with what I do. I can't tell you if I'm like in a hurry and I didn't film something. I'm like, it makes me so frustrated because I'm like, oh, I want to share that. That was so good. Like I wanna inspire somebody to try something out of their box. Taking the orange color and just going right along just that outside so it'll go like kind of blue and meet into that orange. What do we think? I think I have to be faster. I just saw the time. Yeeks. Oh, we're gonna go fast. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in. I did not link this, but it's so good so i'll link it um i have a unique link it's um if you go to courtneyswan.com click unique but this is the shade i'm getting old this is the shade i'm blushing bit of a lighter color in the middle and this is the shade off pink by Lafayette okay and I will say it's a matte so if you don't like a matte then put on a chapstick so personally I think this is really cute with like a happy salve over it so this is a happy you can tell i do this often this is happy sab it's from palmafira i will get you this lip color in the description of the video later if you can't wait until then just go to courtneyswan.com click my unique link and it's the shade i'm blushing Cute, cute. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some mascara. I'm going to, hopefully I'm gonna do mascara. I know I have, oh, it's in my face. Oh, I thought you were asking me. 
do I know what time no. is like hurry up no <laughs> I was like oh, I'm hurrying um, this is my friend Jessica hi hi she loves being on camera it's I her do. favorite thing <laughs> um <laughs> kidding <laughs> um are you good do you need anything from over here I'm just getting my shoes and you look so cute I love that outfit Thank you. it's uh, pink lily it's pink lily <laughs> it's from the new collection that dropped Okay, I'm going out with the Ophir mascara. What do you think about this eyeshadow, guys? It's like that blue. Ooh, I love that. Do I want that? Yes. Can I? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Here's this. Here's, oh, I did something. Here's this. Oh yeah, maybe I should and go ahead. Here's that. Ta-da! Wow. You're welcome. And then I used that same lip color we used last night. Look how pretty your face. It's so good. Yeah, so pretty. So I used that on my lid and then that in my crease and that like in the outer corner. Love. Okay. If you want to copycat. Yes. It looks beautiful. Okay. So Happy Sab is just like a really great chapstick for your lips. If you struggle with your lips getting dehydrated, it's really great. Okay. Ophir, their mascara has castor oil in it. So it actually lengthens and strengthens your lashes. So the longer you use it, you'll notice the longer lashes are. The only thing I will say about this is it is a stronghold mascara. It's not waterproof, um, but very water resistant. And you do need some sort of cleanser that's oil-based to take it off. So I use the Erase Pre-Cleanser from Palmafera. You could also use a coconut oil. You could use any sort of oil-based eye makeup remover. Um, but without that, this stuff isn't coming off. That's when this kind of pops is when you put the mascara on and it's just like, it's not white, it's not blue, it's just pretty. It's kind of both, it's like a blue gray. It's frosty. Frosty. Okay, Jessica, what's your favorite part of the trip so far? Um, you falling off a swing. <laughs> I was like, you guys look so cute. It was like the most perfect picture because you had the ocean in the background. You guys um, look so cute. And I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. And then like literally you just flip. Uh, <laughs> my head hurts Legs so bad. I was like, I, I really do. Yeah. I was like, my head, I hit the, I hit so hard because I was holding on. And so they all tipped first. <laughs> so I was the last. So it was like, I just was trying to hold on and so I just landed straight on my um, head and my neck. But anyways, I'll post it. I'll post it. <laughs> um, that was funny. That was hilarious. I'm excited about tonight. Okay, so we're going to a dinner show where they're supposed to have acrobats. It's called Cabernet. And they're supposed to have acrobats and like sensory things throughout it. Um, and people that like fly around while you're eating. And I'm not a hundred percent sure what all of the show is, but it sold out and we were, or what the food is, or what the food what is. Eating. I don't even know what we're <laughs> eating, um, so at cool. all. We also went to see where it was earlier and there was a guy hanging off. I posted on my Instagram stories, but he was like wrapped up in ropes, painting the building. And it's I was like, -show. <laughs> he should be hired. Um, the blue gray eyeliner, yes, it's linked under the um, Ophir link in the description of this video or CourtneySwan.com, click Ophir or drop the word me and I'll send you a link or drop the word link, either one. All right, I'm going to put that Debs on my legs. I'll show you guys. I have not trade my legs. Uh, I did a, a halfway shave yesterday. So, because I was like, do you think I need to? And she was like, yes, you have to. And so I just shaved, I already had my bathing suit on, right? And I haven't been feeling, like I've just kind of been feeling thick. And so I already had my bathing suit on. So I only took the razor and I just shaved like whatever you could see from my bathing suit. And that was it, called it a day. And so at some point I'm gonna have to do a full body. And, but I, instead I'm gonna mask it with bronze. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm going in, I'm gonna use, we're doing hair really quickly. It's a full, we're doing a full look. Um, if you need bronzer too, I have bronzer right there. Uh, okay, so 
Just doing wherever you think you might need a little extra. Okay, going in with glass here. This is from Lunge. They have a big sale going on right now. Um, it is, you can save up to 70% off. I saturate my hair with this if my hair's dry. It's very fine mist. It's a heat protectant. It smells so good. It smells so good. You should put some on your hair and then, um, do go through it with this thing. Here, I'll show you in a minute. I'll do Jessica's here in a second. She loves it when I do that. <laughs> you don't, well maybe. I don't have to she do it. Yeah, she doesn't mind. Okay, here we go. It takes about two minutes for this to plate to heat up. So if you turn it on and you start shaping it and you're like, mm, it does nothing. Well, it's because it has to heat up. It'd be like using a curling iron and not letting your curling iron heat up. So I do have um, lip filler. I haven't gotten them done in, I got them done in April of last year and I got one. I got them completely dissolved and then I got one syringe and that wasn't quite enough. And then I got half a syringe. So I have one and a half syringes about a year ago and I haven't gotten them done since, but I do, I did overline them with my lipstick. Uh, and I have this thing. It's, so I guess a body dysmorphia because even the other day I asked her, I was like, you think I should do more? And she was like, they just, no, they look really good. And I'm like, but they could be a lot fuller. She's like, you, it's that fine line. Like, do you want natural full? Do you want fake full? And I, I'm like, I want natural full. And so I'm currently, but probably in three months, I'll get um, like a half a I'm, At one point I got way too much and I look like watched. <laughs> like, um, it was awful. And for like nine months, people were sending me messages like, what did you do to your face? All the time. And I got them completely dissolved. And now I'm just trying to do, that's the only, I, and I've gotten Botox on a wrinkle on my forehead here and like 10 units of Botox um, about once a year. And that's, uh, that's it. I just do skincare and then like microneedling, like dermabrasion type stuff. Um, probably as I get older, I'll do a, um, what do you call it? Laser or something, but uh, I just want to prevent, but mm, that's all I have done right now. Okay, um, this is water. Their waters are in glass bottles. I really want to take some trim fit, but I gave my trim fit to those curls and now oh, I don't no. have any with me. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. So I've been taking trim fit now for months. Um, and I absolutely love it. It helps burn fat, helps increase energy. Um, it helps with cravings. Fantastic. So you can tell beach hair to really beautiful. It's, you never get tangled up. It's really great. I thought a blue breaker, but it's just the shower going off. Okay, so I'm going to. I found hair oil. In the side. Okay. I'll do it on your hair in a minute. Okay, okay I'm gonna do Jessica's hair and I'm gonna do mine. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of Palma Ferris hair oil. Just if you've not ever tried this, I've gone through an entire bottle. It is so use glass hair and a little bit of Palma Ferris oil and about a minute on using the low volume by Lange, and that's Crazy. What the what? Okay, I'm gonna do this side, then I'm gonna do Jessica's. Welcome to Courtney's Beauty Salon. Do you want to go ahead and spray your hair with this? Yeah. Or you can put that on your legs, either one. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You're a grown up. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we have been friends for 25 years. And um, so I would consider our friendship like 
pretty easy friendship. Like, sometimes we go months without talking, sometimes we send memes all the time, sometimes we get to go on trips together, sometimes it's a while, but it's like one of those where you're like, oh, you get back together and you just catch up. And do you guys have a friend like that? Okay, I want you to see what she's doing. Look. Okay, so she's got the dibs. She put it on. Look at her calf. She used to run in high school. She had the best legs. Um, so, she got dibs. And she puts it. So, this is how we did it yesterday. It's like, put the dibs on. And she got this cute brush from TJ Maxx. It is amazing. It's like, legit amazing. Okay. I will go towards the back of my hair. Do you like lives where it's just a bunch of stuff all at the same time? Okay, trying to get out any cowlicks. Might need a little dry shampoo. Oh, I've gained weight on the last vacation. So I'm 10 pounds heavier right now than I was about a month ago. No, I've gained. Um, I am, I, but I do try and make good choices. Like I try and drink water throughout my trip. I try and get sugar-free lattes. I try, like I'll eat a bite or two of a dessert, but I don't eat a bunch. Um, so it's like kind of like trying to incorporate your lifestyle. Um, I bring my greens. Like I, like I literally have stuff with me. I bring... I bring my greens with me. I bring probiotics with me. I try and stay consistent on my supplements. I, you know, um, I drink Trimfit every day. I gave my Trimfit to somebody today to try, and so I don't have it with me. Um, but, so that helps drastically, like trying to stay on the same things that help you. Um, but I have gained weight. And, again, I think that that is like, it is not uncommon that if you travel you're eating foods that you don't normally eat. I have PCOS anyways. Um, I have insulin resistance. I can gain weight really quickly. And so, um, yeah, some of these trips have just, and that's just part of it. It's like, okay, well, just hop back on. Um, Jessica went and worked out this morning. What time did you go? I went at eight. Eight o'clock. I normally work out at five. She normally so works out at five in the morning. Um, so, there we are. Uh, I've got one little piece. She was like, you want to go with me? And I was like, no, I want to sleep. So I slept, but I'm going to work out tomorrow. Okay. Ready to see your hair transform? Oh, I'm so ready. So ready. All right, hop right up. Okay. Um, I have a stool. You can sit on your to like your, uh, yeah, here. to my salon. Did you already put glass here in? I think so. Okay. Was it not enough? No. You gotta get it like kind of damp. Okay. Okay, you just keep dips in your legs while we do that. Okay. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of Pomifera hair oil in her hair. I'm not a hairdresser, but I've been doing <laughs> Jessica's hair since we were 13. Oh, yeah, at least. So, probably since I was allowed to do hair. Nope. Summer like, camp? Yeah. Yeah, we met at summer camp and um, we have been friends ever since. Okay, so Jessica's hair texture is a little different than mine, um, and she has more natural curl in it. And naturally blonde hair. Okay, let me know if I heard you, you're fine. Okay, so. Do anybody else's other than my kids? I could be your kid. You could be my kid. <laughs> no, but when she travels with me, it's like as if she's traveling with kids because I forget stuff all the time and she's super organized. I always joke, but like, most of my friends are really um, organized people and I am just not. And so I'm like, you know what you're getting into when you hang out with me. But we get along, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do you want, where do you want your part? 
Um, it doesn't matter. Wherever it is. Like kind of where it holds? Yeah. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Is it red? Am mm -hmm. I burnt? You're a little burnt. Woo. Yeah. Not bad though. Okay. Oh, like wow. Smooth. Yeah. I don't think my hair has looked like this this whole trip. It's like crazy to like crazy smooth. Okay, so this is the little volume by Lunge. If you want links for anything, just drop for me. Um Your mom will probably be watching. Maybe. Maybe. At some point she'll see it. <laughs> So Jessica's parents let me like halfway live with them growing <laughs> up. So I had my own rack in their fridge from like 16 and I stayed at their house a lot. My parents moved when I was 17 and they moved to Florida. And so I like legit lived at Jessica's house with her parents. And so her mom to this day like still hops on my videos. And when I'm at the grocery store, I use her mom's old phone number for like my grocery checkout because it gets, it's like a discount card but I've just never ever set one up and so I use her mom's phone number. I'm sure they're like, who was in Hickson buying this today? I'm like, oh, let me know if this is too hot. We good? Fine, yeah. Okay. I like, want to get your little palette but I don't bring too close. Yeah. So we've been like at the beach all day, doing all the things. I'm so good at that. Thanks. If it doesn't work out, you know what I currently do? This is what I wanted to go to school for. My parents didn't have money for me to like go to college, so college wasn't really an option. But if it had been, I would have gone to be a hairdresser. I could totally see you as a hairdresser. I would have loved it. <laughs> now I'm just a fake, <laughs> just a fake for my friends and myself. Sit down, let me do your hair. Yeah. It's all worked out. Okay, I'm gonna go in the back of her hair here and just like go upward to get volume. dips my leg. Uh, they said, Jessica, you were beautiful. Okay. Um, yes, all the links are in the description of the video and you can get everything there. Um, she got this from TJ Maxx for $4. So be on the lookout. TJ Maxx is one of those things like you could maybe find it again or maybe not. Yeah, hit or miss. Hit or miss. Mexico outfit but that is like a you can wear it here it looks really cute I love that fray there mm -hmm. but you could also wear it like to work or you yeah. could wear it to anywhere wherever we go Any target yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay what is that one that's um Burberry goddess mm -hmm. well that's a good one okay <laughs> I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for getting ready with me. And if you have a question about anything, send me a message. Let's go.